every time there was a state of origin game, dad would come home early and mum would like probably still be rushing home from work. My brother and I would sit on the couch waiting. Me and my dad would always be the first one to watch it because we were the only two that really fell in love with League when I started playing it. Me and my dad just scream at the TV, sit there, get pizza. Like even after the game, we would sit there for maybe an hour and a half just talking about like, oh, like, you know, Bangladesh or like different things. Like TC, it was so good. Like we would just talk footy pretty much almost until we went to sleep. It was crazy. To be selected in the Harvey Norman's women's squad, I don't really have any words. I mean, I just came back from a very big injury. This is my first proper season back, so to be selected in the squad was, I think, I, I'm just speechless when I think about it, yeah. I don't really have any words to say. I'm just so thankful and grateful. It's definitely one of my achievements that I had on my list this year, but I didn't think that I was obviously going to achieve it. But then when I got the call, I was like, oh my God, this is happening. So yeah, it's, it's a, an amazing feeling, yeah. So as soon as I got off the phone to Tani, I, within about three seconds, called my dad instantly. He's my number one supporter. And I just rang him and he's like, hey, what's up, just finished work. And I was just like, I've got some news to tell you. And he's like, oh no, let me stop driving. So he pulled over on the side of the road. And then I was like, okay, you ready? He's like, yeah. I was like, I made the Origin Squad for game one. And then he was like, <gasps> like he just went silent for a little bit. And I was like, what, what's going on? And he's like, I'm so proud of you. Like, I just had this feeling that's what it was gonna be. And I don't know, I, we've all seen how far you've come and you know, from you laying in the hospital bed to being at home and you know, all this stuff and you moving away from home to go to Townsville. Like it's really, your efforts have really showed to better yourself as a person as well as in footy. So it was, yeah, it was a really great moment. I was at South for quite a, quite some time. I think I was maybe 16 when I first went there. And then come the year 2020, we had our first round against Sweden down at Tweed. And after that, it was canceled, COVID was in, and I decided that I was like, oh, you know what, I'll just take a little break. COVID's coming, I'll still try and keep fit. First round back, I decided, you know what, I might do a little change. I might move to East. So I moved to East, I was doing pre-season there, I was doing great, I was in good shape. First round back, played the first half, was fine. Second half, five minutes in, my knee just went. And I just ruptured my ACL, did my lateral meniscus, had a term medial. It was really quite bad. So moving forward from that, I had surgery and it took me about 14 months to get back. And luckily enough, my hard work through prehab that I did before and my rehab throughout my injury got noticed. And luckily I got picked up uh, Kelvin Bright had picked me up again to come back into the Broncos system and I got a shot at NRLW last year so that was a big stepping stone because that was actually my first game back was my debut in March 2022 so it was a big big break off. See here's China Pallada who's out on the right wing for the Broncos hasn't played a game since 2018. The moving to the Mackay Cotter squad was actually a really big eye opener seeing how the Northern girls do it and how the girls managed to train in Mackay and Townsend come together and we could still put on a show. Moving there was actually a really big learning curve for me because I got to experience life on the road, moving and footy, flying in and out. So it was actually really great. And for our first season in as a squad, it was actually a success, I would say. Definitely still things we can learn on and build on. Born and bred in Queensland, so to put on the jersey and knowing that I've I've got so many before me that I looked up to. I want to aspire to be like them. I've always strived for a Queensland jersey. I'm still striving for a Queensland jersey. But yeah, to be in the squad, it just, it, it just, oh, it's like this big feeling. I can't put it into words at the moment, but yeah, it's just great. My main goal is to go out there, do my job for my team, for my squad, to back myself, keep pushing when I feel down, use that maroon jersey as like a superpower almost, and knowing when I'm in that jersey I'm protected, I've got all the girls behind me past and present, and just to really work hard for that jersey and that crest that's on my shirt, so. Yeah.